Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got a strategy for making a sweet ship. Several programs, lots of cool skills. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So as you know, I build a ton in Tinkercad, but I do like SketchUp as well. This is free. It runs in a browser. The tutorial for this video is about 10 minutes, and boom, you learn some sweet skills and end up with a sweet ship. Now, I printed this one, but I wanted it to print faster, and I wanted to add some other cool things to it. So real quickly, if you orbit underneath, I cut this out so that it prints a little faster. And then here's another cool trick. If I hit T for tape measure, I can stretch this out. If I type the number 10, it gives me a guide for where I want to put that. I'm going to switch to R for rectangle, and I'm going to do 20, 4, because I've got these measurements memorized. I know this is 4 wide. P is for push-pull, and I want to push this down, and I want to push it down 25 and press Enter. I'm going to quickly press R for rectangle again, and I want to start at this corner and go to this corner. And I'm going to type 20, 5 for this piece. P for push-pull, and friends, I just made a plank that sticks out 25 millimeters. O is for orbit. I can zoom in. L is for line, and then I want to slice this off. So notice how I cut that angle with the line tool. P is for push-pull, and I can push this across. And because I touched that end point, it snaps. And all of a sudden, I've got an awesome 3D printable Benchy. Now, this was a ton of fun, but if I add the portholes I want, they don't work. So this is where I'm going to bring it into Tinkercad and add the cool portholes. So I'm going to hit Save. And then I'm going to take my hollowed ship and I'm going to export it as an STL. I'm going to put it in my STL folder and just hit save. Now we're going to exit SketchUp and go to Tinkercad. Now you may notice here I've already got the ship. That's because I've been playing with it for a cardboard laser cut ship as well. I like these sloped edges for making one with the laser cutter. So now that I'm in here, I'm going to hit import, choose file. I'm going to go to that STL folder and find out my hollowed ship. I'm going to bring it in at its exact size, choose import, and there is our cool little ship ready for playing with. All right, friends, so I want cool little portholes down here. We're going to do that real quickly with the work plane, and we're going to use the awesome tube. Because I've designed this already in SketchUp, I know I want size 6, wall thickness of 2. Of course, you want sides of 64 so it's round. And then I'm going to change it to too thick. Let's fit view so we can see where that's at. Zoom out a little bit. Orbit. I'm going to pick the place I want to place it. And then I want to switch to a 2 millimeter nudge. And then, friends, this is one of my favorite skills. Control-D. Nudge till I find the exact spot I want. Let go of everything and do Control-D again and again and again. And it memorizes those measurements. I'm going to take all those shapes and group them. So I'm going to click on the ship. And I'm going to click hide. And then I can grab all of those and I'm going to make them a group. Now when I unhide, I can click on my group of portholes and I can nudge them to where I think is perfect on my ship. So I like that. I'm going to do control C. And this one's really tricky, friends. I'm going to move over to this side and put the work plane down. And I'm going to do control V. And then, friends, the trick is you need to hit D to drop. When you do the D to drop, it brings it to the correct face. And now you can arrange it so that they are at the exact same height. You can see that was too high. And I'm going to just do uh, work plane back to the ground level. And now if I click this one and this one, I'm going to click a line. And I'm going to make this one the master. And I want them to have the same height. If you take a look over here, they are lined up perfect. I could also, and I will also, make sure they are lined up on the back edge. But as you can see, they already were. How slick is that? I'm going to repeat the process up here. Click on the front of the ship. Bring out my tube. 6 enter, 2 enter, 64 enter. Change that thickness to 2. And then arrange it however you want. I do want two of them, so I'm going to do Control D, and I'm going to nudge that over as well. Shift, select, group, 
control C. I'm going to hit control C, put the work plane on the other side, control V, and then my friends, D to drop to get it so it's lined up just the way you want. I think that's pretty close, but I will shift select, put my work plane to the ground, and then align those so they are the same for sure, just like that. So my friends, that is how I combine two programs to make one awesome custom Benchy. I'm going to call it my Benchy. I'm going to select it all and I'm going to export it and let's bring it into Kira and see what we get. All right, friends, this is Kira 4.91. I'm going to use my A10T. If we open up 3D modeling, I'll show you the one I built yesterday. Here is my hollow ship with portholes. So notice it says the highlight shapes either have missing or extraneous surfaces. So there was something about this in SketchUp. Maybe it was that I used glass. I don't know. But it didn't like it. So I'm going to simply delete the object, cancel the window, and let's bring in the new one that I created and put in the STL folder called My Benchy. Friends, check it out. We have got workable portholes just like that. Now this is pretty huge. You see it take eight hours. So I'm going to go to scale. I know that if I shrink this down to six centimeters or 60 millimeters, it will print just fine. I am going to drop it to the bed. So put that at zero and let's give it a print. Alrighty, everybody. So here is Benchy with my portholes. Combination SketchUp and Tinkercad. You can see I do need to work on stringing on the A10T, but I'm pretty happy with the results. Alrighty, friends, so there you have it. Two free programs, totally different companies, both run in a browser and working together. You can turn out some pretty sweet stuff. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.